the sixth house is a very enigmatic house. We don't know much about it, but it have a lot of uses, right? Generally, it is seen as a bad house, but it's not actually very bad, right? Multiple facets are there. Primarily, when you come to the sixth house, you come to know that this is an upche house. Upche means increasing, upche means growth. Basically, meaning whatever planet is there in the sixth house, things related to that planet keeps on increasing. So you say sun is there in the sixth house, the authority keeps on increasing day by day. The status keeps on increasing day by day, social status, financial status, it keeps on increasing day by day. Day by day means as you cross the age. If moon is there in the sixth house, then in that particular scenario, moon being the karak for wealth, wealth is increasing day by day. Right. The person becomes more and more spiritual day by day because the moon indicates mind, moon indicates emotion. So person becomes very discriminative day by day, which in turn makes him very spiritually awakened day by day. Mars is in the sixth house, the valor of the person, risk taking capacity of the person is improving day by day, the health becomes better by age. Mercury in the sixth house, knowledge, intelligence increase, increases day by day, learning increases day by day. Jupiter also wisdom, oratory skills, wealth increases day by day. Venus, pleasures of marriage, enjoyment, luxuries increase day by day. Saturn, the reward that one gets in their profession or from the society name, fame, status, social contacts are increasing day by day. Rahu in the sixth house, in that particular scenario, intelligence is increasing day by day. Social status is increasing day by day. And the person is become, person is having more and more success day by day. If Ketu is there in the sixth house, then spirituality increases day by day. Detachment increases day by day. Recognition increases day by day. And most importantly, with time, the person becomes more and more internally focused. The person becomes more and more closed in their approach towards the world. Right? So basic point is because sixth house is an Ukche house, whichever planet is into the sixth house, things related to that planet increases slowly, slowly. Now these planets have other significations also. There can be a question that if fourth Lord is there in the sixth house, what will happen? You should understand that everything I cannot cover in one video, otherwise the video will be lifelong, <laughs> right? Jyotish is a lifelong study. It is not a quick fix. We have to understand and my prime purpose is to have you develop an understanding, right? Now, one more thing is there, see, with respect to Upche, you know, there are two types of planets, right? Benefic planets, malefic planets. Benefic planet will be Jupiter, Moon, Mercury, Venus. Malefic planet will be Sun, Rahu, Mars, Saturn. So if there is a malefic planet in the sixth house, in that particular scenario over things related to others, which fall into the sixth house, competition, enmity, servants, person, good results come day by day. So competition decreases with time. Enmity decreases with time or person becomes victorious over their enemies. And they have more and more servants over time. More and more servants means you become more and more rich. You become more and more influential. You have more and more people to work for you. But the bad part is malefic in the sixth house gives diseases. And on health front, it keeps the person under problem. Secondarily, with time, pressure will also increase. Person will have a lot of liability and responsibilities, which will shorten the personal time of the native, right? which will eat up the personal time of the native. On the other hand, when benefits are there in the sixth house, health is good. Responsibilities are less, but because it is a benefic planet, it sometimes does good to the enemies. Also enemies of such people prosper. 
there is tough competition in life and to succeed in the competition a lot of hard work is needed right so benefits where it saves you from diseases gives enmity competition and generally indicate that the life is normal right many servants are not there it does not mean that the person cannot become rich but if the person becomes rich then they generally become rich either into a job or they are into a self employment kind of a stuff or they don't like to have a lot of servants on the other hand malefics are good for the destruction of enemies and success in competition but in health matters and malefics in the 6th house can be very very challenging now one more thing is there talking of benefits no if 6th house 7th house 8th house these three houses from the ascendant and moon will make adi yoga benefits in 6th 7th 8th so basically if benefits are there in all the three houses it is the best adi yoga benefits in two houses it is the mediocre level of adi yoga benefit in only one of these houses it is a normal level of adi yoga right now adi yoga means what the person is having more than needed the person is having more than desired be it wealth or be it anything the person is having more than sufficient right specifically adi yoga is taken as raj yoga also so when there is benefit in the 6th house two things can be told that whatever the person needs he is having it more than plenty secondarily raj yoga comes in life Raj, by raj yoga what we mean name fame status recognition is there the person have good authority in life the person is living an influential life right and the person is though raj yoga does not actually mean wealth it is not dhan yoga of course not but because the person is at a level in society of course he is not poor also right so though he cannot be labeled as rich but he have all the needed convenience that is required right so at least one property one good vehicle is there right that is what is raj yoga so basically looking at this it seems like benefits are good into the 6th house but the first condition that i have told you before that have to be kept in mind otherwise problem will happen problem will happen in analysis right if you don't keep that in mind this many a times happen astrology as i told you works like a science all the factors work in a different manner you have to take all the factors into consideration and only after taking anything in everything into consideration you can jump to a conclusion otherwise not okay now see sixth house as i told you indicates enmity the planet in the 6th house indicate why the enmity is happening and to which person the enmity is happening generally when there are male planets in the 6th house male planets are sun jupiter mars rahu and saturn the enmity is from males generally from males when female planets are into the 6th house that is venus moon ketu mercury then enmity is generally to females or the enmity is because of females right because you have done something wrong to a female she have complained to someone or she have talked bad about you to someone that is leading to enmity in the previous case it will be enmity because of a male person because you mistreated a male person or a male person does not like you and because of that he is backbiting about you or spreading false news about you which is leading to enmity this is one secondarily the reason of enmity can also be known by planet in the 6th house when there is sun in the 6th house because enmity generally comes from jealousy people are see people first try to compete when they cannot compete they know that they cannot compete they are not capable they become jealous when this jealousy increases it becomes enmity and the thing with jealousy is as such that they cannot compete a jealous person thinks less of themselves and their family members more of you so basically sixth house is indicating what are your traits what are your qualities the others are jealous of that others are jealous of so for example when sun is in the sixth house because of family your family background because of your father because of your authority because of your name fame status because of your elegance people are jealous of you 
when moon is there in the sixth house, then your approach of dealing with things, your mentality, your emotions, your family, your wealth, your status, your fame, your distinct personality is what people are jealous of. Your uncompromising attitude is what people are jealous of. Mars also indicates your uncompromising attitude that people are jealous of. Your risk-taking ability is what people are jealous of. How you don't land into problem even after doing things which other, you know, imagine that if you do this, you will land into problem, but you do it, you don't land into problem. People are jealous of this. Because of your friend circle, people are jealous of you if there is Mars in the sixth house. Because of your siblings, people are jealous of you. Because of your profession, people are jealous of you. Because of your capability of doing things. Because of your talents. Because of your dedication and devotion, people are jealous of you. One thing can also be told that if there is no planet in the sixth house, then person is not having such personality which can make others jealous. In this particular sense, you can say that specific planets in sixth house give a special type of personality to native, which makes them very, very special also. When there is Mercury in the sixth house, then you're, then you know the ease, the comfort, the satisfaction that you are having in life, people are jealous of that. Of your learning, intelligent wit, people are jealous of. Your mental aptitude is what makes people jealous. Your academic Qualifications is what make people jealous. Your learnings is what is making people jealous. Your business is making people jealous. Your finances are making people jealous. Right. And your tension-free attitude is what is making people jealous. When there is Jupiter in the sixth house, then people are getting jealous because of your learning, because of your intelligence, because of your approach of doing things, because of how you follow the Dharma, because of your views. Because of your orthodoxy, because of your children, people are jealous of you. Jupiter in the sixth house also indicates that people are jealous of your wife. People are jealous because of your spouse also. Also, Jupiter indicates contact with people sitting high level in authority. This also makes people jealous if there is Jupiter in the sixth house. Venus in the sixth house, people are jealous because of your spouse. People are jealous because of your beauty. People are jealous because of your skills. People are jealous because of the things that you are blessed with. People are jealous of your beauty. People are jealous of your physical features. People are jealous of how you, you know, how you uh, get ready. People are jealous of how you get dressed. People are jealous of the luxuries that you are having. People are jealous of the conveniences that you are having. This is what is making their blood boil. Saturn in the sixth house, people are jealous of your contacts. People are jealous of your professional success. People are jealous of the support that you are getting from people, other people. People are jealous of the authority that you are having. People are jealous because the society likes you. People are jealous because everyone talks good about you even at your back. People are jealous because you generally don't fall ill. People are jealous because of your physical capabilities. People are jealous because of How easily you can do things. People are jealous of your punctuality also. You know, people can be jealous that he always comes on time. I cannot make it to time what he does. This can also be the reason for enmity. This can also be the reason for jealousy. My friend, this is Kali Yuk. You see, people are getting jealous of knowledge also. That how this person knows so much. Are, yeah, knowledge, is a, knowledge is something that you can increase by reading. Stop your time into being jealous, read more. Right? Something that can be so easily achieved, people cannot achieve it. Rahu in the sixth house, your attachment to family and how you dispose your family, how you dispose your duty towards family is what makes people jealous. Your contacts will make people jealous. How you get everything on time is what will make people jealous. Your achievements will make people jealous. Your possessions will make people jealous. Your movable and immovable assets will make people jealous. Ketu into the sixth house, your knowledge, intelligence, understanding will make people jealous. The lineage family that you belong to will make people jealous. Because of your children, because of your students, people will make jealous. Because of the love 
that you get from everyone in the society is what, what is making people jealous and compete with you. Right, your beauty, people are jealous because of your beauty, people are jealous because of your achievements if there is Keto in the sixth house, right? So the reason of enmity, who is the enemy? This is seen with respect to the sixth house and how you should deal with the enemy, how you should tackle the enemy, that should be seen from the twelfth house. That's the basic point. Along with this, sixth house also indicates disease. Now, in this particular scenario, see different body parts, different body parts are indicated by different houses. The house where sixth lord will go, there will be problem in that body part. Lord of any house, it, if it aspects to the sixth house or if it is situated in the sixth house, there will be problem related to that particular body part. So this is one basic point. Second thing is sun indicates bone. Other than that, sun also rules the stomach. So sun in the sixth house, problem related to bone, problem related to stomach, and sun is the karak for bile, problem related to bile will be there. Moon is the karak for phlegm, moon is the karak for blood. So moon in the sixth house, problem related to phlegm, problem related to blood will be there. Mars is also the karak for bile, so Mars in the sixth house, problem related to bile will be there, problem related to bone marrow will be there, problem related to blood pressure will be there. Because things such as hemorrhage, etc. is also indicated by Mars. Mercury and Jupiter both indicates imbalance between the three elements, between the bile, phlegm and wind. So they will indicate problem because of it. Other than this, according to me, Mercury indicates problem related to skin. Mercury also indicates problem related to breathing. Mercury indicates infectious issues, infections also. Jupiter indicate problem related to breathing, problems related to nose, ear, problem related to hearing, problem related to speaking along with, and also problem related to stomach. Venus is also phlegmatic planet. It indicates problem related to phlegm and additionally it indicates problem related to semen, problem related to reproductive organs and problem related to essential vitals of the body. Saturn is windy in temperament. So Saturn also indicates problem related to wind. Other than that, problems related to bone, problems related to skin, problem related to dead cells, problem related to excretion, etc. is also indicated by Saturn. Specifically, Saturn indicates lack of nutrition and all of these things. Rahu also indicates windy complaints along with indicating problems related to excretion and person being susceptible to viral or bacterial infections. Ketu also indicate problem related to bile accidents, etc. Problems rising out of accidents, etc. Blood pressure or any other pressure related issues is, issue is also indicated by Ketu. Loss of sensitivity or overdoing something which or you know, like some something being present in abnormal quantities leading to problems such as a very strong immune system or uh, person being highly sensitive or completely numb is indicated by Ketu in the sixth house. Medical astrology is a very long, long department. It cannot be covered in one or two videos, right? It needs a complete course. I have done a course over medical astrology. Interested people can take the course. To th I have made a specific video where I was, I have specifically talked about which problem is indicated by which, which health problem is indicated by which planet that is available on YouTube also. You can refer to that particular video if you want to learn this particular topic deeper. Right. So health problem is also indicated by disease is also indicated by the sixth house. Along with that, see sixth house indicates wounds, attacks and accidents also. Basically, when bad planets are into the sixth house, malefics specifically or lord of bad houses in that particular scenario one is susceptible to getting wounded getting attacked or meeting with an accident for which the native should be careful when they should be careful in the dasha antar dasha and malefic transit of that particular planet who is being situated in or connected to connected by aspect also being situated in or connected to the sixth house because it indicates wounds it indicates attack so Wound can come from accident. Attack can be from animal or human. Both things. So if sun is there, 
in that particular scenario while dealing with metals one can have wounds moon while dealing with water mars while dealing with metal uh, while dealing with tools and fire mercury then while dealing with normal objects alloy which is mixture of more than one object right one can land into problem mixture of more than one object that, that is uh, you say aquarium suppose so aquarium is a mixture of glass structure and water into it so it is a mixture of two elements dealing with such things can lead to wounds so what one should do one should be careful while dealing with it jupiter will generally indicate problem with people only and a wounds from people attack from people itself right jupiter mercury both indicate people also so wound and attack from people venus will indicate problems while working in while working with tools of kitchen or while working with tools which everyone which is there in every home right so venus will indicate wound of uh, getting wounded after falling from a table or you know falling from a bed or because a stair is broken staircase is broken in which the person was riding such problems venus indicates saturn will indicate problem from servants saturn will also indicate wound from tools rahu will also indicate wound from tools other than that rahu will also indicate problem from anti social elements criminal tendency type of people ketu indicates wounds and accidents because the person was not very careful and it will indicate wounds problems and troubles because of foreigners so foreigners can mean actual foreigners or foreigner can also mean some beggar or any person who does not belong to the area was a traveler but it created you problem all right sun will indicate problem from father authority governmental people also along with problem because of bird so wound accident because of birds moon will indicate problem from woman problem from mother mother like woman problem from maternal relatives and generally indicate problem from four footed pet animals and a cow dog etc getting wounded attacked by horse is indicated by venus saturn both getting attacked by cow buffalo ox is indicated by moon and venus both getting attacked by or getting wounded by friends sibling or falling into accident because of friend sibling because of lack of concentration because of feeling sleepy etc is indicated by mars along with that mars also indicates being attacked by wild animals mercury also indicate being attacked by birds along with problems from friends people in the society or problem because of social media or people who were earlier your followers but now have turned against you problem because of these people mercury indicates jupiter indicates problem because of elders problem because of guru problem because of religious people other than that problem because of lack of intelligence problem because of lack of concentration problem because of not paying attention to things is also indicated by jupiter problem related to insects and reptiles is indicated by both moon and rahu rahu generally indicate small insects and reptiles and moon indicate bigger insects and reptiles so fly so flies mosquitoes etc are small these insects and reptiles are indicated by rahu big insects and reptiles such as snake etc is indicated by moon so these animals can create problem these the tendency indicated by these planets such as moon in, moon indicating person being very emotional a uh, sun indicating person person being very diplomatic mars indicating person being very over enthusiastic mercury indicating person being too hurry in taking a decision jupiter indicating person having a you know the orthodox approach of the native venus will indicate a lot of sensuality sexuality saturn indicates impatience rahu indicates favorism and ketu 
Ketu indicates not being attached to things. These tendencies can create problems. These animals can create problems. And technically, anything that this planet indicates can be problematic to you, can be adverse to you if these planets are situated in the sixth house. So what you should do while dealing with these people, you should be very, very careful. And you have to keep into mind that while dealing with these things or while dealing with these people, any type of laparwahi, and any type of lack of attention, lack of focus, or any type of bad behavior should not be from your side. Otherwise, it can become problematic and things will not be good. Other than that, there is one misconception related to sixth house. Sixth house is told as the house of servant. Actually, it's not you as a servant, it is your servant. Basically, it means if there is a powerful planet in the sixth house, or as I told you, if there is a benefit in the sixth house, because it creates Adi Yog. Alternatively, if there is a powerful planet in the sixth house, exalted planet, own sign planet, Murutrikon planet, Varkottam planet, in fact, retrograde planet also. In that particular scenario, one will have many servants. So either the person will be very rich, so he will have a lot of servants, or the person will do business where he will have many employees who will work for him. That is one point. Secondarily, many a time people think sixth house is loan also. Basically, loan is seen with respect to the tenth house. Right? But sixth house also have a role to play. If there is very strong planet in sixth house in that particular scenario, in the case of loan, person have good, good uh, you know, person have good fortunes to take a loan and also repay it. Such people can make great things in life from loan. Weak planet in the sixth house rather indicate that after the person have taken loan, his condition deteriorates. Such people should not take loan. Weak planet means combust planet, debilitated planet, etc. In sixth house. Such people should not take loan because once they take loan, after that their condition deteriorates day by day. Many a time such people are not able to repay the debts very easily. And fall into more and more problem with every passing month and year. And ultimately, there is no chance left to these people. So this is something that one have to keep into consideration. One have to keep in mind. While taking loans, sixth house also indicate loans. Right. One more thing is there when there is a powerful planet in the sixth house or sixth lord is powerful because sixth house indicates competition also. Success in competitive examinations, IES, IPS is indicated if the sixth house is having a powerful planet or if the sixth lord is powerful. If the sixth lord is weak or the planet in the sixth house is weak in that particular scenario in competition and in competitive examinations, success is dubious. Many a times what can happen, one powerful planet, one weak planet can be there or you say there is a powerful planet in the sixth house but sixth lord is weak. Or sixth lord is powerful, but there is a weak planet in the sixth house. In that particular scenario, based on the dasha and tardasha, one should decide. Right? Based on the dasha and tardasha, the decision should be done. The decision should be made. One thing is there, because sixth house indicate competition, alternatively, it will also indicate supremacy. So... Sixth house, as I told you, now, sixth house is the thing why people are jealous of you. That basically means either these qualities are present naturally in you or you are very good into doing these things. Right? If there is a planet in the sixth house and these same things are your special qualities also. What I told you, why people are jealous of you. These things are your special qualities. Focus on these qualities and then you will shine like a star. If you don't focus over it, then it's not good. You are wasting your potential. Don't waste your potential. Use it to the highest. Use it to the greatest. Sixth house also indicates maternal uncles, etc. So if the sixth lord is good, if the sixth lord is powerful in that particular scenario, maternal uncle have a good role to play in native's life. Maternal uncle, maternal aunts have a great role to play in the native's life. Otherwise not. If it is weak, then either the maternal uncle, maternal aunts are not there or if they are there, then the relationship between the sibling and their maternal uncle aunt is not very good. So basically in such cases where the person will ask that, can I start a business with my maternal uncle or maternal aunt? You have to check the sixth house. Right? This is what it basically means. See, 
sixth house, this Upche house are also called Apidaksh, non-painful house. Whereas other houses are called painful houses. That basically means the planet in the sixth house with respect to sixth house. The planet which is into the sixth house in things related to that planets, when growth is happening, it is a pain-free growth. Naturally, there is no there is no pain. Pain only comes when the person is not being careful. For a particular example, you say second lord is going into sixth house. Or Jupiter or Moon is going into sixth house. Leave the second lord. Jupiter and Moon is going into the sixth house. So both these planets indicate wealth. So wealth will increase with time without much pain. Without much hustle, it will automatically increase with time. So in this regard, you can technically be tension free about the planet who is into the sixth house because things related to that planet will automatically increase with time. Only if you become very careless about finances, only if you start showing your foolishness while dealing with finances, the progress can be hindered. Other than that, a painful automatic progress with time is what is indicated by the sixth house. So that is a very, very good aspect of the sixth house. Right. Not only this concubine, more than one marriage is also indicated by the sixth house. Those who are having a very strong planets in the sixth house, if that planet is Lord of good houses, or if that planet is a benefic planet in that particular scenario, the person can have second marriage also can have means you first have to check if there is a combination for more than one marriage. If there is combination for more marriage, more than one marriage, then you will see if there is a combination for divorce. I have dealt for, uh, with all these combinations in detail, right? In YouTube channel, you will find multiple videos. First, you should check if there is multiple marriage combination. If yes, then you should check if there is divorce combination. Sixth house indicates concubine also, second marriage also. If there is more than one marriage combination, then sixth house is strong. It is having a powerful planet or sixth lord is powerful. Then in that particular scenario, in those horoscopes where more than one marriage is indicated, but divorce is not indicated, it indicates concubines, affairs, extramarital relationship. In those horoscopes where divorce is also indicated, more than one marriage is also indicated, then in that particular scenario, it indicates a second marriage. And depending on whether this planet is a benefic planet or a malefic planet, you should say the second marriage will be happy or not. Right? Benefic planet will indicate second marriage will be good. Malefic planet will say second marriage will not be good. That's the first point. The third signification, because this significations, this significations come from BPHS and it is very dubious. I don't think any scholar have been able to interpret it correctly. Of course, I have done it. I am telling it in your video. I am telling you in this video. Another thing is it also indicates father's wife or second mother. Right? It also indicates second mother. According to me, the same shloka can be translated to all the same word can be interpreted to take either wife's second uh, father's second marriage, father's concubine, your concubine or your second marriage. So according to me, these significations are either this or this, either this or this setup, right? So about the affair of the native and second marriage of the native, I have told you now, if the native is not having more than one marriage combo, if the native is not having more than one marriage combo, but still the sixth house is having a powerful planet or sixth Lord is a powerful planet. Then in that scenario, either father is having an affair or father is having a second marriage is what should be predicted. This is a signification of the sixth house, right? One of the very major significations, such very, very major tools are there in every house. You see how fantastic it will be just looking at the horoscope of the native. You can tell to the person 
that your father have done second marriage very fantastic now this is what i call serious astrology right however not everyone deserves to learn serious astrology right so let's leave the point come back to the topic right so sixth house is indicating enemy sixth house is also indicating that what is your special quality what people are jealous of it gives you wealth also it gives you power also powerful planet in the sixth house indicates that you are powerful you know you are having something that people are jealous of it also translates into power you are having a specific power you are having a special power if you activate that particular planet if you work on the skills that is provided by that particular planet that you can find from the natural signification of the planet or based on the house lordship of the planet then in that particular scenario you can become really very very successful success also means overpowering the competition so in the horoscope of successful people what you will say sixth house is having a powerful planet sixth lord is powerful the person will be very powerful way ahead from his enemies in fact in those horoscopes who are having even a single malefic in the sixth house those also have good level and status in society at least right so they can be called as successful the success basically comes from the sixth house because nowadays in kali yuga there is no success without competition that right? so sixth house have to play a very very major role some people also take that sixth house indicate job and 10th house indicate business that's not reality the karma is indicated by the 10th house and see you know me as an astrologer why because astrology is my karma astrology is what i am doing now because i am doing astrology my major karma will be guiding me right so karma translates to profession now whether i am a banker employed into a bank or i am a person who owns a bank both comes from the 10th house both indicate karma so both job and business are indicated by the 10th house only there is no doubt into it i don't know from where it came it this point came that 6th house indicate job 6th house indicate servant in that particular scenario it is not servant it is your servant not you as a servant this is something that you should keep in mind otherwise problem will happen 6th house also indicates wounds etc right so when the dasha and tardash of the planet comes who is into the 6th house one is very susceptible to meeting with accidents getting wounded getting attacked they should be very very careful right this was 6th house in nutshell thank you for watching the video take a note of all of these principles and while applying it to see brains are not very common and having intelligence having understanding being able to think properly is very uncommon but still while applying any principle or any technique keep the basics of astrology in mind everything cannot be told in a single video watch all of my video make proper notes then you will develop the method of analysis how analysis is done then keeping other factors and other conditions into mind and these principles into mind that i have told you analyze the sixth house and then your prediction will be true with 100% guarantee that i can tell you right thank you